It's so by the way, before we start, what's your name? Mahuja Il. Mahuja Il. That's what I use. So Il, Il, Il is Allah. Allah. Mahuja Il. What does it mean? It means um, uh, smitten by God. Smitten by God. Yeah. Ibn Hazm, and this is Sheikh Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. Me Jamal. And Jamal. Uncle. Uncle. The beauty uncle. So uh, remind me your name just. Mahujail. Mahujail. Which means what is it? Smitten, Smitten by, God. by God. Smitten by God. Okay. Smitten. How is that? Okay. So uh, just wanted to clarify, you are Messianic Jew, yes? Meaning Jew Jewish by origin on my mother's yeah, side yeah. of the family. But you believe in Jesus, please be upon him, yes? Do you believe Jesus was God, by the way, just to clarify? Oh. <laughs> I, to begin with, I think he was semi divine. He was semi-divine. Yeah, and then when he was resurrected, he was truly divine. So initially he was semi-divine. Yeah. And then was, later on he was half human purely half divine. God. So he was half human, half 50, God. 50 human. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, good. So... But no, so, so, sorry, Chef. Okay. But you know, that's a heresy. Why? That is a heresy. Why? Because the Gnostic, the Gnostics, yeah. that's their belief. Can, uh, you know, I've only been following it for about a year and three quarters, so it's new to me still. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And you are from Scotland? Originally, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's nice accent. Thank nice you. Accent. Okay. You see, I have, I will tell you something. Why I mentioned this. Is there anything from the Bible that supports this, that he was semi-divine and then later he was fully divine? Well, Is there something in the Bible that supports this ideology? Before well, we was, carry on. There was a letter written to one of the churches back in the day by um, John, the one whom Jesus loved, yeah? Oh, John, seven, John, the son of Zebedee. I think so, yeah. He yeah, was like 17 years. The one who loved is the son of Zebedee, yeah. John, the son yeah. of Zebedee. But that one, that one, he wrote what he said? He was, he basically, he was writing to the church, basically saying that, um, Shaul, you know, the... the, the Shaul, the, Paul. Paul, Shaul, yeah. Yeah, Paul, Paul, yeah. yeah. Paul, yeah. yeah. He was a heretic. Okay. Fine. And, and that's from the Nazarene point of view. That's true, because uh, I, Nazarene. the Nazarene, the, the Nazarene believes Jesus is, they didn't believe Jesus is God, by the way. He, Nazarene he, believed Jesus is the Messiah. And he didn't die. And he didn't die. That yeah. Nazarene. Firstly, he's didn't the Messiah. Yeah, that's, you know now. You see here, the Nazarenes, they believe, firstly, he's Jesus a is a prophet. He's the Messiah. Yeah. And he didn't die. Exactly what we believe as Muslims. Yeah, okay. That's the key thing. And they declared them heretics because of that. And he declared Paul or Charles uh, to be heretic because of this. Because Paul is the one who introduced the divinity of Jesus. Yeah. It wasn't introduced by Jesus himself. My question is to you, Sha'ol. Sha Jesus, yeah? Sha Jesus did say that he was the Son of God. What? Jesus did say that he was the Son of God. Good. Okay. Well, what's you know that? What's what the Son of God is? You know what the Son of God means? We <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. The because Son of yeah. God in the old Hebrew word, yeah, is, is a righteous person. For example, God said about Jacob, you are my firstborn. Yeah, so is, 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 uh, is Jacob the Son of God or not? You know, we all Adam is the Son of God. One second. Yeah, by the way, actually, actually, it's mentioned in the Old Testament. David was Son of God. Yeah. yeah. Moses Jacob was son of God. Adam is the as actually mentioned begotten son of God or son of God. So children of Israel used to be children of God. So if you uh, say I'm going, the angels are the son of God, the sons of God. Yeah. So we so that's why. Yeah, but they were made, not create. They were created. But like, same Jesus was created. No, Jesus. Jesus was consummated through Mary by the Spirit of God. But no, 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 no,
let's go back to the root. So do you accept that Jesus was created by God? Yeah. He wasn't God. Do you accept this? Yeah. So he's not God. If something is a creation of God, it's filled that by means the, that... But it's filled by the Spirit of God. He is the Word of God. We're, 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 we're all... We all were created by God, by the will of God, by the word of God said, be and be we became. So the point but is... It states in the Bible that he was the word of God. He was okay, before... Okay, I know that's you going for John 1.1, 1, 1, yeah? I don't, John, I can't John 1, 1, yeah, it's the gospel according to John, and it's the, the, the prologue that it's called. They call it the prologue. Let, let me uh, tell you one thing with that. In the beginning, there was the word, yeah. and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now, yes, you know, and if Allah, you jump, Jalla wa'ala, if you jump, if you jump no, 14 I, I, paragraphs, yeah, yeah, I will, flesh, I will, I will, I will come to that, I will come to that, but let, let, let's take the, the, the first three. Yeah. We are all the word of God, you know yeah. why? We were all in the planning of God, before God created, he planned, as Muslims we say that Allah, Jalla wa'ala, has got, has put everything in the preserved, uh, in the preserved decree, decree, decree. So we were already in the decree of God. So in the beginning, there was the word. In the beginning, before creation, God had a decree. And the word was with God. So the word of God is with him. Because his speech is his essence. It's with him. And the word was God. Now, when we go to a few down there, and he became flesh, of course the word, like the Sheikh said to you, be, and there was Jesus. Yes. Look, who is more difficult in creation and more wondrous? The creation of Adam from nothing? Or the from no father or, and mother? I get, where you're, coming, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, you know. So, so in here, the it's creation... It's a miracle in both respects. Yeah, it's a yeah, miracle. Yeah, but, but, but look, a bigger miracle is Adam. Then I'll give you another miracle. Eve, from Adam, how can, how can a man reproduce? Like bring, produce, yeah. So, so uh, from Adam. But even in the Bible, even in the Bible, I'm gonna give you some somebody else. You know, you know what's his name? Melchizedek. You know Melchizedek in the Old Testament. Maybe not right without a father, far. without a father, without a mother. No beginning, a no end of time. Right. Melchizedek is he God? I don't know. So, He's not God. so you see, my my what what our point is, our friend. Our point is, we believe as Muslims, we believe in Jesus to be a prophet of God, yeah. sent by God. Oh, I believe that he was a prophet. Okay, good. Sent, but, uh, and as well, but the thing is... He also had God's spirit in him. One second, one second. If you say I had God's spirit, I will tell you something. God is the one who created the spirit, yes? No, because God is pure spirit. Where is this God's spirit? It's in the Old Testament. One second. Old one second. It's all around us. Ma no, I will tell you something. Yeah. That's you say I'm God. You're not a pantheist. Like. You're not pantheist. You know. You see here. When we say God is, by the way, God created the spirit. God created the spirit. God is not a spirit. God is beyond our imagination. Yeah, but God has a spirit. We say we say has has a self. According to them, I says, maybe maybe uh, them, maybe yeah. the translation because they lost in the translation because the meaning self. Or some being the essence of well, that's, God. That's the thing that was originally spoken in Aramaic, wasn't it? Yes. So, so that's why, by the way, in Arabic, Rauch, Rauch. it's it's Rauch, spirit. It's Rauch. That's why we say the uh, the, the Holy Spirit, Rauch Kodosh. Oh, yeah. In Aramaic. Rauch in Aramaic. Kodosh. Yeah. But the but when it comes to God, God has nafs, meaning nafs. I don't know what's the meaning of that in Aramaic. Self. Means self. 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 God Himself. So the point is what we say. God created the spirit. For, the, for his creation. God has created your spirit, created you. God has created my spirit and created me. So the point is, not necessarily everyone has a spirit that means has, God. has God. God. And I will add to your information, when we say the spirit of God means this spirit belongs to God. By ownership, not by essence. So God owns the spirits. He creates and he owns what he creates. He's so that, he owns everything. That's good. So that's why, and he owns Jesus. Oh yeah. So Jesus, if he owns Jesus, if but he has a created Jesus. He created Jesus, Jesus before everything. Now, Jesus I will tell you something. No, there is. That's what's written in the Old Testament. You know, he said, and created 
through him. Yeah, true, not, true, true, true. So, so in okay. here, it stands corrected. He created through Jesus, not that Jesus yeah. has created. Yes, right. For example, okay. even though, God, even who don't yeah. accept this, no, by so the way, that, yeah. even us, even us as Muslims, we don't necessarily accept this. But my point is, don't you think that Islam is more key about the teachings of Jesus than what the Christian nowadays? I don't know because I've never really looked into Islam, to be okay. honest with you. If I taught you something about Islam now, right? And I taught you what Islam is about. Would you accept to be Muslim today? No. And if it makes sense to you, if it makes if sense, if it to made you. sense to me, yes. To you, okay, good. At least Let it's me tell an you open, At least it's an open. Yeah, I will tell you why. Why I'm saying this. Basically, Islam, firstly, is the only faith on earth that recognizes Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet sent by God. No. Yeah. That's no, one. I wouldn't say that. Messianic Jews don't. Uh, the, no, not no, the Messianic Jews. The, the Jews, Jews, they don't. don't no, agree. no, I yeah. get that. Yeah. yeah. They crucified them. Yeah. Yes. So the Christian, they recognize Jesus as God. Muslims. But we, we still we see him as a prophet. <laughs> yeah, we see him as a prophet. And I will tell you why. Because there is, there is a key thing. More to us than, than the others. You, your belief is going close, with the close to us belief close to us than, than the, the other others. Christian. Because you say. You believe in Jesus to be a prophet sent by God. Your issue is about the but spirit. I also believe that Jesus was God. So okay, that's why, because that's no, part of that. We can deal with that. We can, <laughs> deal, with we can that. deal with that. We can deal with that. My point is, if Jesus was God, yeah. what is the definition of God? He's undefinable, isn't he? No, it's it is. Omnipotent. Yeah. Yeah. Like omnipresent. Yeah. No, no, omniscient, not omnipresent. Not omnipresent. No, no. no. It's 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 omni, omni, om, omniscient. Immortal. One second. The greatest. Yeah. Yes, Sheikh, not omnipresent. I will tell you why. Will, yeah. Because that's the only one who So, it's God is all powerful. Yeah. Omnipotent. God is all knowing. Yeah. Yes. And God has independent will. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Meaning he will decide what he should. Yeah. yeah? So, let's implement this on the Father. Is God is all powerful? Yeah. Is the Father all powerful? Yes? No. Is the Father all knowing? Yeah, I'll say so. Is the Father, does the Father have independent will? Okay. Let's apply this to Jesus. Yeah, but Jesus was the flesh. One second. Is Jesus as flesh, let's say. When Jesus said, if it's, if it's not all powerful, the flesh, the word became flesh. So the word be which is B, became flesh to so the world. So it's not that Jesus was God and then from God right. became flesh. Okay. The point what I'm saying now to you, yeah? I, I see your point, but yeah. I don't, I don't listen, listen to me, yeah? Listen to me. So if Jesus is not all powerful, you said because he was weak, yeah? He couldn't protect himself. He needed the help of the Father. No, Am I, I right? he probably could have, but he just chose not to. What? He just chose not to. So he chose... To commit suicide? Well, he was doing it for the sins of humanity, wasn't he? So, was it a choice by him or was it the decision of God? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll come to it. I would say it was a choice by him. So, the, so for example, if someone knows... He knew his mission, didn't he? One second. If you say this, that's heresy actually. Because if God is sinless, how God will commit a sin, according to you? For example, well, that's, that's man's interpretation of it. No, because we're, here we're dust. Yes, we are dust. He's almighty. Yes, he's almighty. So, so if he's almighty, he cannot be weak. So if he's almighty, he cannot choose to be weak. And that's my point. The other, the other point, if when Jesus was on earth, yeah. here there is a question being asked by the people to test Jesus if he's truly God. There is something that separates God from his creation, which is the knowledge. The absolute knowledge is is the position of God, yes? So when Jesus was asked, so the people tested him, when is the hour? So this thing, at this point, at this spot, Jesus is able to say, I know when is the hour. If he said it, we will be all of us will be in one page. We know Jesus is God, that's it. So they asked him, when is the hour? What was the response of Jesus? Only Father knows. No one. He said, no, no. No one knows the hour, not but the, the Father. But the Father. Not, not the, the angel, not the Son. The only, only the one, on, the only one knows <laughs> the hour is the Father, yeah. which means the Son, in all his forms, doesn't know about the hour. 
But you, but some Christians, they say, no, actually, in his body, in his human nature, doesn't know. But in his divine nature, knows. No, he didn't say that. He said, no one knows about the hour, but the Father. Meaning the Son, in all the situations, the Son doesn't know about the hour. Does that, does that make, does that make Jesus to be knowledgeable about the hour or ignorant about the hour? I think he's knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the hour, but just doesn't say it. So he lied? No, I don't think so. But, but it, you know, for not example, the sun, not the sun. He, 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 he said not the sun. So if oh, if yeah. he, he, but he did he also he did also state that he was the father himself. No, he didn't say he's the father. So it's written the in father, the Bible. no, the, the father is something and the son is something else. The father is not equal to the son. So that's right, a key okay. thing. Okay. That's another so that's as, another as, problem. As I said, I'm, I'm new to the faith. So okay. okay. Yeah. So my point is. If Jesus doesn't know about Dawa, which means he's ignorant about Dawa, yes? Oh, obviously, not respect, yes. So, if he's ignorant about Dawa, does that make him God? He has a spirit. No, again. Because he, he managed to live, again, managed again, to live his life again. of sin. Listen, listen. So when we say God when we say God is omniscient, sure. listen. When we say God is well, omniscient, we try, we strive, but we fail all the time. If I give time, you, if we? I give you two people that were near to Jesus, and in the Bible it says that they were sinless, would you? You know, you know, you know the you know the cousin of Mary, yeah, yeah, the wife of Zachariah. Right. They lived their life blameless, blameless. What does blameless mean? Sin free. Sin free. So, so, so Mary, thought, Mary was sin free. Not Mary, not not Mary. The, the, the cousin, Zachariah and, and his wife, yes. they, they were blameless. I see, I see, I see your argument. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, blameless. And even Mary, Mary herself, yeah. Mary herself, yeah. she wasn't sinning. You see here, so we have, we have these things. We have someone, you, what happens to many Christians, they try to put Jesus above his status. Jesus never claimed to be God in a clear way. Never said, I'm God, worship me. Never said to the people, I'm God. And actually the people who tends to, to give Jesus the divine nature, well, Jesus didn't say that I'm God. That's one thing. Jesus as well is ignorant about the hour. In a clear word from his own word. It's not, not, it's not my word, it's his word. Say the only one knows about that is the Father. No one knows about the hour, but the Father. Neither the Son, meaning all the situation with the Son doesn't know about the hour. When you say the Spirit, etc., which means the spirit is ignorant. He, he could say, my spirit knows, but my body doesn't know. He didn't say that. He said, the son doesn't know about Dawah. Because of this, so that Jesus is ignorant about Dawah. Now, does Jesus has independent will? All humans do. No, independent, independent from no one. No one above to dictate Jesus what to do. What he, to well, do. he was doing his father's bidding. Huh? He was doing his father's bidding. So he said to the like father, let it be not my will, but yours. So he didn't have independent will. Does this apply to the father? No. Does the father say, you know, uh, you know, let it be the will of Jesus? He didn't say that. The father will decide according to the Bible and the son will do. Meaning the son has dependent will on the father. So Jesus is not all powerful, not all knowing, doesn't have independent will. Does it make sense that Jesus is a prophet of God, sent by God, he is not God. Does it make sense? Yeah. So I, that I means agree with you, no. that means me and you are one page, which is we believe in Jesus that he is a prophet of God, sent by God, and he is not God himself. You, we agree. And all, the mirac all the miracles that he performed were done through him, from God. Yeah, yeah. Through him. Through, through him. Fine. God will make miracles through Jesus. Fine. Yeah. God. God. The yeah. In Acts 22, you've got a good handle on the Bible, better yeah. than me. <laughs> uh, uh, Acts 22, I'm going to show you what what Peter says about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I know what it's called. I like. I don't know. But that's why I went back to my roots. Yeah. Look. Because I wasn't happy with this yeah. Catholicized look, version look, of. You who are Israelite, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man yeah. commanded to you by God. 
with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs which God worked through him in your midst as yourselves. So, so all these things that bring in Lazarus from the curing uh, people, delivered the blind, and that it was through God. Yes. So, so from God through we, Jesus. We understand each other on yes. this way. So but now, I still believe that Jesus was the Lord. Jesus was the Lord. The Lord. What do you mean by the Lord? A rab, a rab, the big guy. So he's got Jesus of the Lord. Well, what is the Father then? Well, there's there's a Trinity, isn't there? Yeah. No, there is no Trinity. Yeah, I will tell you why. Do you know why? Because Jesus never claimed this. No, true, true, true. So, so there is no Trinity. But so Trinity in, is a heresy of Paul. Well, so it's uh, even the Binarian is a heresy of Paul. Probably, but there is that. Um, what's the prayer where it's? Um, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, such Holy Spirit. Oh, Son, I, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But look. Who the, said that? Yeah, I, I, that's why I'm looking into it, because I'm, yeah. I'm interested in looking back at I will tell you Jesus something. I will, I will tell you something. What we've been told. I will tell you something. No. You know, there is a no, huge gap. Fine. By the way, by the way, there is a huge gap, yeah, in terms of even the Gospel of John. Which has all these problems, by the way, the, because firstly, John, the, the Gospel of John, first of all, John is a vague character, because no one knows who's John, because they have, even amongst biblical scholars, John is someone who is not well known. Some, but, they but say, in, in John, doesn't it say that um, this is written by the one whom Jesus loved? Actually, so. actually, the, the Gospel of John is the only Gospel, at the beginning of it, they said, this book is according to John. Meaning John didn't write it. No. So if in the simple English form, when I say this work is according to Shammah, what's it called? Yes, Mujahi'il. Mujahi'il. So this book is, is according to Mujahi'il, meaning I am writing on your behalf. You are not the one who is writing it. That's the meaning of according to. Yeah, okay. So that's why the Gospel of John is according to John, is not John himself. Adding to this, that is supposed, the Gospel of John is supposed to be copying from the previous it's supposed year. To be hundred, the, the, the yes. first hundred, and you haven't got, you have got a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, 400 years later. Oh, I agree with you. So, so with you. that means there must be something being added to Christian faith throughout the time. Do you agree? Yeah, in the 300s, Constantine was a pagan. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So Constantine is the one who actually endorsed the Trinity. Do you know that? Yes, because okay. in the in the Council of Nasia, when actually some Christian who used to be monotheist Arius, Christian, Arius and Nazarenes, some will remain of the yes, yes. Nazarenes, Nicodemus, yeah, who Nicodemus. believes in the oneness of God, believe Jesus sent by God, and actually Agnes of, uh, of um, what, Agnesius. Agnesius. actually he is the one who said, uh, 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 he is the one who said. During his time, he believes that there are people who didn't believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. So we have people who didn't believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. There is that as well. Uh, and, and, as well and as well, there are people who didn't believe Jesus is God. I'm talking about Christian from the early church scholars. Ebionites. Yeah? Yeah? Ebionites. So, and we have as well, in the first 300 years, it's actually it was in, introduced and endorsed the Trinity to the people and forcefully being dictated to the church fathers in the Council of Nasia, the one who did not accept the Trinity, they were chased by Constantine, they were killed, some of them ran away, and some of them skipped from that, because he was enforcing the idea of Trinity. And there used to be some people who were binary, believe in Jesus the Father and the Son, they didn't believe in the Holy Ghost. So we have this type of Christian. So oh, the, okay, question, okay, yeah, okay. the question is, what do we believe as Muslims? Now we mentioned too much about Christianity, etc. But it makes sense, and I believe it will make sense to you, what Islam says about Jesus. Firstly, Allah said to us in the Quran, the example of Jesus, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, continue. Sorry. Yeah, Allah said, you want to sit down? You want to sit down? Yeah, go Come on, sit down. cheers. Uh, okay, uh, sister, can we... It's not get. It's not nice yeah, to get old when your bones uh, start creaking, uh, is it? A small, uh, and, 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 okay. So, let me tell you something. Yeah. Let's have this comfy 
and uh, and uh, and, and peaceful. Some you want some I've water? Got, I've got some more. You have? Yeah, yeah. Do you want coffee or anything? Or tea? I don't drink coffee. Tea and tea. Don't drink coffee or tea. All right. Okay. I drink water, milk, and orange juice and apple juice. Okay. Do you want us to get us some juice or something? Do you want us oh, okay. to All right. Listen it. to me. Yeah. When, so we have now a faith which has oh, different it's versions. It's certainly been bastardized again. Exactly. That. Now, we believe that Muhammad is the last messenger and actually his teaching, peace be upon him, is actually exactly the teaching of Jesus. How we know this? Yeah, I told you earlier. If Islam makes sense to you, you said to me yes. You will uh, be a become Muslim. Yes, maybe, that's what. Maybe. No, we said yes. That was an agreement. Are you, are you Irish? Are you Irish? I'm Scots. Scot 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 oh, Scots Irish. You know, we like us. You know, we are strong people. <laughs> I like. I like. This. And by the way, our Scottish people, they are men of their word. When they say something, they will do it. Yes. Am I right? True. So, so that's how it is. So let's agree. Uh, I never, uh, let's I agree. Never, Wait for me. But I never yes. agreed that I would become a Muslim. No, we said if Islam makes sense to you. Yes. You said yes. Yeah, now I think you said you will accept it. Because the truth to be embraced. Am I right, my friend? Oh, of course. Yeah? It's okay, it's okay. At the end of the day, I try and live my life for yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so if Islam makes sense to you, we should, we, should, it, yes. we should follow the truth. Of course. Yeah. So the, the truth to be embraced, the truth to be followed. Look at it. خلي بدون ما تحطها شيء أحسن لك. خلي تنزل عادي وتنزل الثاني عادي. So, so listen to me, my friend. Firstly, Islam, as I mentioned to you, is the faith that recognizes Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet sent by God. It does that follow to your to your narrative? Does yes. that follow to your narrative? To most Christians as yes. well. To your narrative. I'm not, I'm I don't want to talk, I'm talking about my friend here. Right, yeah. Okay. So it's fall into the same narrative. Yes? The second thing. Allah said to us in the Quran, the example of Jesus, like the example of Adam. Allah said, be and he became. Created so created him. So Allah has created Allah has created Adam, said be and Adam became. And Allah has created Jesus this reverend, and he said, Be and he became. It fell into the same narrative that you have. Yes? Sorry, say that again. It fell into the same narrative. That we are talking about similarities in the in the miracle of the creation yeah, of Adam definitely. and uh, and peace and okay. Christ, peace be upon them. Both. The next thing, the next thing. Now, the the miracle of Muhammad peace be upon him is the Quran. Yes, Quran. The miracle of Muhammad is the Quran. Now, the Quran is we believe is the word of God. Yeah. The Quran is either was inspired by the devil to Muhammad peace be upon him. Or it was the work of Muhammad, he made it up. Yeah. Or it was the word of God. Do you have any other option? No. Three choices. Three choices. Three choices. One good option. <laughs> One good option. <laughs> but that goes for the Bible as yes. well and the Torah. And yes, exactly. That, so. yeah. Now, we could the, all, first, the we, first option. We could all be idiots. <laughs> yeah. No, the first not, option. I'm not saying we are, but no. no. So the first option, if the Bible was inspired by the devil. Yeah. Let's see so if the Quran was inspired by the devil. The Quran curses the devil in numerous times yeah. throughout the Quran. And not just that. And actually, us as Muslims, whenever we recite the Quran, we say, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan meaning we seek refuge and protection from God, from the whispers of the devil. So whenever we wanted to recite the Quran, we wanted God to protect us from the whispers of the devil. If it was the work of the devil, is that will be the case? No. Good. So the second option. This book or this Quran is the work of Muhammad that he made it up. Yeah. Firstly, Allah, for example, if it was the work of Muhammad, you'll find the status of Muhammad in the Quran higher than anyone else. If it, has, if it was his thing. Yes. If I wanted to talk about myself, wanted the people to follow me. Yeah. For example, you will find in the Quran. Jesus, peace be upon him, was mentioned more than Muhammad in the Quran. Sorry, say that again. Jesus was mentioned in the Quran more than Muhammad. 25 times he was So, Jesus was mentioned 25 times. Adam was mentioned 25 times. Yeah? That's one thing. Muhammad four times. Muhammad four times. The mother of Jesus was praised in the Quran. There is a whole chapter about her. A whole chapter. She's blessed beyond blessed, isn't she? Yeah. So 
Yeah, where? I got a version where? Yeah, no, to show you the chapter. I will kill you. Where the mother of Muhammad, peace be upon him, his mother, his own mother, he wants, he wanted, she died as a pagan before Islam. So he once he asked Allah to show him the, the grave of his mother. Chapter Maryam. She's Mary. Mary. Yeah. yeah. A whole chapter on her. Listen to this. Yes, it is. Allah Haki Quinis, it's an answer. Definitely been books taken out of the Bible. Okay. I will tell you, I will tell you. No, no, not this. I will tell you why it's not. They did not. Constance Yeah, but Quran is different. Quran, different story. Quran, it is different, totally different story. Yeah. Quran is, I will tell you, there are some certain things which is mentioned in the Bible, mentioned in the Quran, but in a more holistic way. Which is impossible to be copied from the from the Bible. That's one thing. Now, adding to this, if a whole chapter in the Quran talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and there is some verse in the Quran condemning the Prophet peace be upon him or warning him not to seek forgiveness for his own mother. Yeah. So when he asked, when he wanted to ask God, can I see forgiveness for my mother? Allah has said, send down. It's not for the Prophet and the believer to seek forgiveness for those who disbelieve. So this is specifically telling him not to, warning him not to do that. You will find if it was the work of Muhammad, yeah, you will find Allah has criticized Muhammad in many places in the Quran, telling him, why have you done that? غفر الله لك لما أذنت له. Yeah, ليس لك. You have nothing of the commandments. Saying to him, Allah forgive you. You should, why did you allow them? Abbas wa Tawalla, you show when, when one blind man came to him to visit him one day. Blind man, they didn't see him. So he came just after the pagans of the elite pagan came to visit the Prophet. Peace be upon him. And then he was talking to them and he was angry from them. So they left in the time when this blind man came. So he showed grumpy face. He was angry. Not at him, but at them. No one sees that except Allah, the Creator. And the blind man didn't see that. Allah revealed the Quran to be recited until the day of judgment. So it is recited by two billion Muslims on earth now, openly, publicly. When Allah criticized his prophet, why did you show this grumpy face to the someone? To, to someone who did, uh, who someone who came to remember Allah and you just show grumpy face to them. So the question is, so like, if it was the work of yeah. Muhammad. Hmm? So like ill intent. Anything, yeah. Yeah, so, so, so the, the Allah, if what the Sheikh is trying to say, if this Quran was made by Muhammad himself, would he rebuke himself? Would he, would he admonish himself? No. He would speak about himself in a good, good way and stuff. But it does not like that. He sometimes was praised, sometimes was criticized by Allah in the Quran. So it's impossible for the Quran to be the word of Muhammad. Then the Quran is the word of who? God, then, isn't it? So. God. so now me and you we are in one page that the Quran is the word of God. Me and you are one page that Jesus peace be upon him, TV prophet sent by God. He was sent by God. He was a man, a human being, and we believe in his miraculous birth with no father but with the mother. And God is able to do miracle like that. And we believe that God has made miracle through him. Through Jesus, peace be upon him, which is fine, which we agree, just like God made miracle through Moses and other prophets, these things happen. Yeah, but it doesn't elevate Jesus to make him God. And as well, we don't belittle the status of Jesus to say he is no one, like the Jews saying he's a bastard. We don't say this. We say he is a prophet sent by God. We believe in he is a, 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 a great example for the believers. His mother was a great example for the believer woman. Now, the question is to you. Does, does Islam make sense to you? In the way you put it, yes. But there is other things that are... Tell me, tell me what other things that doesn't make sense to you. Show him this one. Show him this one. Yeah. Show him this one. What, more about the behavior of the Prophet himself. Okay, tell me. Well, like Mari and I should oh, good. Okay, that's good. a good question. That's a good that's question. A good question. If, I, if I answer you and it makes sense to you, will you accept? I understand back in the day, things that have happened differently. Yes, we'll good, come good. to that, no problem. We will explain it to you De thoroughly. Define to me 
what is the meaning of a child? Give me a definition of a child. Someone who has a pleasure. Sheikh, hey, kursi hada, kursi If you're speaking about female child, yeah. it would be someone who has a past puberty. Yeah. Exactly. So the female is the one who didn't reach the puberty, yes? Yeah. All right. So let me give you some, some background. <laughs> the Prophet, peace be upon him, he married Aisha yeah. at the age of seven, at the age of six. 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 The marriage was consummated for three years, after three years, at the age of nine, at the age of nine. Why he has to wait for three years? Because well, she ain't old enough. Yes. Well, she reach, so, I don't think she was old enough at nine. Okay, good. Is that old enough at nine? That's fine. I will tell you an example of my case, not someone else. I'm talking to you. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm a living example. I will tell you what is my example. My grandmother, the, the mother of my father. Yeah. Yeah. The mother of my father. She was married to my grandfather when she was 10. She gave birth to my father when she was 10 and something, nearly 11 years old. I asked her the same question that come to your mind now. You were not, weren't you young when you married that, at that age? She said to me, no. I was one of the latest one who got married. I said, how come? He said, back in the day, she, or she said, back in the day, our cycle started by by eight and nine years old. We used to, the 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 we used to start at that time. And then I asked her the next question. Yeah? yeah. And then I asked her the next question. I said to her, how come? She said to me, actually, the best thing that has happened to me that I married your grandfather. My grandfather was 17 or 16 or 17 years old when he married her. She said to me, when I was, she was an orphan. Her, her, her mother died early. And then she said, when my mother died, I used to take care of my brothers and my father, etc. But when I got married, I was taking care of your grandfather, only one man. So for me, that's easier task to do. That's one thing. The second thing, she gave birth to my father, and my father was born as premature. He was born seven months. Back in the days, there is no, what you call it, this... Uh, incubators. Yeah, incubators. Incubators. There's no incubators at that time. And then because he was premature, you know what she did? Think about it. A 10 years old child, according to what we know nowadays, what she has done, she brought the ashes, the ash, and then she took the fine ash, she stuffed it in a pillow, and then that pillow was formed to put the baby inside, except the face of the baby is exposed. So the pillow is surrounding the baby from all sides, except the face, just the face. Just the face. This the face is out. So she used to breastfeed my father while he was in that pillow. Only she will bring out. Chef. Yeah, chef, chef. Just give us one second. Yeah. yeah. She was she was to breastfeed my father when he was in the pillow. She will bring out my father only for cleaning, etc. And then she will put back the my father back again in that pillow, and he stayed for two or three months. She was doing this because my father was premature in order to preserve the heat. And Jordan is a Mediterranean weather. We have a cold weather there as well in the winter. So I will ask you a question. Does a girl who is 10 years old nowadays is able to think like this? Nowadays. 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 Okay. But back in the days, I'm, I'm just putting things in the chef. But back in the days, a woman who is, she reached the age of puberty, she was able to handle a husband, she was able to handle a child, a premature child, and she was 10 years old. Now the question is to you, is this pedophilia? Culturally, no, but, but you know, judging, science, by, it, judging by today's standards. Yes. You know. So back in but, the days, but even like back in the day with the Jews, they, well, they got what engaged. I was tell you. They got engaged at thirteen and married the, at sixteen. No 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 no, 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 no. The mitzvah is at twelve. At twelve. The yeah, mitzvah. for a girl, for a girl, yeah. Yeah, the mitzvah yeah, is at twelve. At twelve, they used to get married. Betrothed, no, Sheikh. No, Before betrothed. Betrothed six. Betrothed at six or at seven. The betrothed, and then the consummation at twelve. At twelve. The bar mitzvah. 
stolen. No, <laughs> no. Listen, I will tell you something. Nowadays, who says that? How can ill ill says that? My point is that's from ill. That's from ill. From from, from Allah. He so, says the ruling is his. My he point is one. what we say. Now nowadays we don't judge our son. Nowadays, nowadays, girls nowadays, even if they reach the age of eighteen, I don't think they are mature enough to take care of a family. No, I, I agree with you. Back in the days, women they reach yeah. the age of puberty. Life was tougher. Life was mature. tougher, and the yeah. girls used to be mature. Life. Even men, men thirteen and fourteen, they were mature enough to take care of a wife and a children. Yeah. So, so yeah, now, it's, if you think of like the culture, like you know caravans and all yes. that type of stuff. Yes, so for example. It would have been rough. Yes, rough. It would have been hard life. So that's why it's so. hard life. So that's why we don't use which, our... Which our character. Yes. So we don't use our standard to back in the days. And then why we go far? Let's ask Aisha herself about her experience with the Prophet, peace be upon him. Why? Because I will tell you something. Throughout the history, why the pagans of Quraysh, why did they didn't condemn this? Why they, look at this man, he's marrying nine years old. Never, None of them, they said. Throughout the history, anywhere. throughout the history, no one condemned this until re until until lately. Why? Because it was something was acceptable in the culture. Even here in this country, six years old was betrothed in this country. Uh, to, to King, to, to King uh, Henry, well, one of the Henrys. Yeah, one she, of the Henrys. Yeah, one of his. Henry, she was nine. Six or something, Henry. Was yeah, six. She, he was married to. He consummated Iyengar. that six. No, he consummated that six. At six. So the, in my eyes, wrong. It's yeah. wrong because I believe we believe it's wrong because she, if she may not uh, reach the age of puberty, so when a child, if you Google now, when is the child reach the age of, when when is the child the child is that a human who didn't reach the age of puberty? If someone reached the age of puberty, then it's not a child anymore. No, so I, let me let me I, finish, I, let I, me I add I something. To what do you saying. agree? I started puberty at ten. Yeah. So, so I agree. Let with me, that. Let you me agree. Add, let but me I add something to what the chef think, says. I, I still don't think you're okay. mentally okay. mature. Okay, because you're thinking of today's. You can, let me, no, let me tell that. you something. As, as, a, as a person of the Highlands, as you know, yeah. you have fought the English more than anyone. <laughs> and you know the wars at that time. People didn't live. The, the, uh, what, what was the average? Uh, 25, 35. 25, 35. Because if you don't die in the war, you die from sickness or from or from. So, can you imagine if people waited until, until, until girls are 18, yeah. 20, agree, you and me and you him, not. we wouldn't exist now. We wouldn't <laughs> exist now. It would be history because of the wars. So, the standard, the standard that you live in, because no. you said I wasn't mature enough, but if you go to your great-grandfather and ask him, when you are 10, were you mature? He said, yes, I was mature. My, he was my able... grandfather was in the military at 15. Uh, okay, 15. 15. <laughs> so he was mature enough to think about entering the, mil the military before that. In nowadays, in nowadays standard, it doesn't work. So that's why what we say to you, actually, it is moral at, at that time. Now, and that's why Islam, there is no fixed age for boys and girls to get married. But there is, according to the customs of the people, what the people think, what the people see is right. What the general people see, the people would would say. Uh, now it's wrong. Uh, yeah? Now it's wrong. Back because in the day, cultural changes, cultural changes time, yes. behavior, maturity changed. In the past, as I said to, I give you the example of my grandmother. She was mature enough to handle a husband and a premature child, premature born child. She was able to deal with that. So the, Juhail, I'm going to add something before you say, I'm going to add something for you to, to understand. In Islam, in Islam, it doesn't matter about the age. And I'll explain why. You see, if the woman was 30 years old, yeah. if the woman was 30 years old, you mean hit the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. If the woman was 30 years old, but she can't handle sexual intercourse, or she is mentally Deficiency. Islam doesn't allow you to marry her. Islam doesn't allow you to marry her, even if she's 30, because she is not able yeah. to. Same thing for men. Same thing for men. Same thing for men. So in here, we go by no harm and no reciprocating harm. Right. Yeah, I okay, get yeah. This is one of the fundamental yeah. teachings principles of Islam. Islam. And principles of Islam. No harm. No reciprocating harm. La darara wa la dirara. So, does that make sense to you, our brother? Some of it, yes. 
what the things that doesn't make sense. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> I've Listen, five strokes, my brain don't quite work. I will tell you something. So. I believe you belong to Islam. Why do you believe that? Because you, you ha we have a very similar faith. One of the things that we similar, we believe in Jesus to be a prophet sent by God. Yeah. We believe he's a human being. Yeah. We believe as well that we agreed now that the Quran came from God. That shows that Muhammad peace be upon him to be a prophet sent by God. Yes? It says it makes sense that it comes from Makes God. sense. Yeah. Makes sense because there is no any other way. Read this. Who is the only true God according to Jesus? Sorry. Okay. The Father is the only true God. You read it to me. Yeah. I'm going to read it for you. This is eternal life. This is John 17 3, by the way. This is eternal life that they may know you as the, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you sent. So according to Jesus Christ, who is the only true God? So he can't, he can't be God then. This is according uh, to what, Jesus. Mean, yeah. So if you are a true follower of Jesus, you have to follow Jesus and what he said and you have to believe what he said. Open, open as well about the Kedar. The Kedar, let the land of Kedar. I have read all this. So. Yeah? Just open it to share. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving you like, Give honestly, you. from the Bible respect, itself. Respect. No. Give me about the Kedar. I will tell you something. There is another interesting verses in the Old Testament. I will tell you something, yeah? Just give you a, a bit of background. Now, you know, in the Old Testament, they're talking about, you know, you know where, where Prophet Muhammad, where, what he, who is he descended from? He is descended from Ishmael. Yeah, yeah, Ishmael, yeah, 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 yeah. Ishmael, he has 10 sons. One of them is Kaidar. The second, either the eldest or the second as, one is Kaidar. As, as Abraham's child. Well, huh? Abraham or Abraham. Uh, Abraham, he has two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael is the son of Hagar and, Abra and Abraham. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Ishmael has 10 sons. One of his sons, his Kedar. name is Kaidar. Yeah? So Prophet Muhammad, he do was the descendant. That's where the animosity between the Jews and the Muslims comes from. Yes, yes, yes. So they say you are the you are the children of the slave women, a concubine, and we are um, the, the children of the three women, which is Sarah. That's what they say. <laughs> but I will tell you something. Yeah. Here, this is. The, uh, did you find it, Sheikh? Twenty-five, thirteen, Genesis. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. Read to this. Now it's oh, so amazing. I will tell you something. To tell you something. So Kaida, yeah? So Prophet Muhammad is descended from Kaida. The land of Salah, yeah? No, but no, I wanted uh, let the land of Kaida rejoice. Let the land of Kaida rejoice, yeah? Yeah? The other thing. But just to show him, look. The, these are, look, names of the sons of Ishmael listed in the order of their birth. Nebelov. The, uh, the firstborn of Ismail is Kedar. Right. Kedar. You see yeah. it there? Yeah. Okay. Kedar. Now, let's check now the land of Kedar. And so Ishmael, the Prophet peace be upon him, he is one of the ten descendants of Kedar. Now, now let's, talk, let's see what the Bible says about the people of Kedar. And actually, the people of Kedar, they mainly lived where? In Mecca. Yes, they mainly lived in Mecca, basically. Yeah, that's how the Meccan people, they're Kedari people. Yeah. And in Medina, which is the Prophet where, where he migrated, you know, he stayed in Mecca. And then after that, after the, uh, the revelation came to him, that his own people start showing animosity towards him. They start fighting him. So he migrated from Mecca to Medina with the believers. There where he established the faith there. Yeah. And established the state there. Yes. Now listen to this, yeah? Yeah? So look, look at this, yeah? Yeah. So read. He said, let the wilderness and its towns this raise... Isaiah, yeah? This is Isaiah. Isaiah, yeah? Let the wilderness and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements where Kedar lives. Kedar. Who is the, the settlement of Kedar? The Kedari people. Let them Arabs. rejoice. Let the people of Selah. Sela, yeah. Sela. Now, hold on a second. Sela. I will tell you what is Sela. Now, now you see here, I will tell you something. Yeah? Let's go back here. One second. Look. The mountain tops. Show him Sela.
You see here? Listen to this. Yeah. This is the Medina. So this is Mecca. This is Mecca. This is Medina. Yeah, Mecca, Saudi Arabia, this is Medina. The Kidari people lived here. Kidari people never lived there. Yeah. So this is Mecca. This is Medina, yeah? Yeah? You yeah. see this? Yeah. Let's, let's check where is Sela. Where is Sela? Where is Sela? Is that Mecca? No, that's Medina. That's Medina, right? See? So we have Sela. We go back. This is Mecca. Yeah? yeah? And Medina. So, so Sela, yeah, that's Mecca, that's Sela, Medina, yeah? Mountains. Mountain Sela. Mountains yeah? of Sela. Yeah, look at this. Going back. Here, yeah, that's Mountain of Sela. It's Medina, yeah? Mecca, Mecca, Mecca. Sela and Medina. Sela and Medina. Sela, yeah. So, throughout the history, there is no Kidari person moved from Mecca and settled in Medina. Now, who have this connection throughout the history is one person who is Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is a Kidari, right, okay. moved from the land of what? Home. Mecca to the land of Sela, right. here. Going back to the mountain of Sela. Now, why they have to rejoice? For so, joy, let them shout from the mountainous top. This okay. is Isaiah 14, yeah. 11. Go to the next verse. Next verse. I will read this when I go home. Yeah? Okay. okay. Let me get you the next yeah, verse. Yeah, because I, I, I read the Bible as yeah. well as I read the, the Torah. So. Do, you have, do you have the Bible? Do you have it? No, so, me, no. Let Look. the whole world glorify the Lord. Let it sing His praise. The Lord will march forth like a mighty hero. He will come out like a warrior full of fury. He will shout his battle cry and crush all his enemies. So the question is, you see here, they're talking about a person. So this person, he's going to be crushing his enemies. He's going to be shouting. Sounds like he's speaking about God though. No, he's speaking about a person. A person. Because in, in some... Kedah, in some read, Kedah, that, read that again. Okay. Okay. Because Look, they say, Lord, by the way. From, I'm going to read from, from number 11. Right, yeah. so to make, to, to get, yeah, so to make the context, yeah. Listen, joining the chorus or in the singing, yeah. Joining the chorus, you desert town. Let the villages of Kedar, Kedar, who is Kedar? The son of Ismail, yeah. So in here we are okay. Let the villages of Kedar rejoice. Let the people of Sela sing for joy. The people of Sela are the people of Medina. Why are they in joy? Why should they enjoy? Shout praises. That's why Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. All these from the mountainous um, tops. Um, um, Allah um, is the greatest. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to all the Lord. That's what we say. Allahu Akbar. You see, Muslim, we say, and God is the greatest. Alhamdulillah. God is the greatest. Praise be to the Lord. Yeah. So, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means praise Alhamdulillah be to God. Means praise be to the Lord. Well, praise be to Allah. Yeah. So let the whole world glorify the Lord. The whole world glorify the Lord. Allah. Let, the, which, is let the same, which is the same message from Jesus. Yes, let, but Jesus didn't go to Selah. No, I get that. I get, the, the, yeah, see, let, and it, let, it, sing, no, let it sing his praise. The Lord will march forth like a mighty hero. He will come out like a warrior. And the, and the Prophet Muhammad was like Moses, like Sorry, a warrior. Read that last bit again. He will come out like a warrior. No, before that, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so the Lord will march forth like a mighty hero. The Lord. The, yeah, yeah, uh, but, but, but Jesus didn't fight any wars. No, but he's speaking about the Lord. Yeah. yeah, my point is, listen listen to this. Because the Lord is a, is a term was misinterpreted. The Lord is not necessarily means God. God. It could be have different meanings. Yeah. Part of the meaning. I, I noticed that when I've been learning. Yeah, me, it could be about a person. And there is another verse, and another, because David this translation. Because, by the way, they have. David was yeah. a Lord. Yeah. As a Lord in the Bible. yeah. So that's why they, they're talking about a man. He said, and in another place, they will say, and this man, this hero, they will talk about the hero. 
they got someone who's victorious. Mecca, 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 yeah. Mecca. Yeah. Yeah. So they're talking about a hero. So we have a hero who will be marching against his enemy, who will be crushing his enemy. Who is this hero? Who is this person? Who fought literally fight in a battlefield? Who is this Kidari people? Talking about Kidar, who settled in Salah, who fought his enemy. Yeah, who is this? That's Muhammad Peace. Does yeah, that I'm make sense to you? More. It, it does to, from what you've told me. You know, I'd have to look into it and I'm, you know, study it myself, obviously. Yeah. It's coming, sir. It's coming. Okay. So what we are saying to you, my brother, if we accept there is one God, me and you accept there is one God, yes? Now, we kind of came to the conclusion that Jesus is a prophet sent by God, yes? And he's, this also, he's also the mediator. Huh? Messiah. No, mediator. Between. Mediator between, you know, but, but, but didn't he say, didn't he say? I will go to my father and, my your, father father. and your father. My God and my your God. God, and your God. So there is no middle so There is no mediator. He said, I will go just like you okay. go. I, and I, and I, as well, he share, said, one of the it. things he said, what, what chapter, Oh, our Lord. What, what okay, let, let me give you one. You, you must know it. And probably, what, 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 what's what was the Lord's the, prayer? The Lord's prayer. Prayer. The, the Lord prayer. The, the Lord our prayer. Father, our Father. Did, does it say our Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? No. Our okay, Father. Carry on. Yeah, carry on. Hallowed be thy name. Yes. That's your. You see what oh, I mean? Forgive I do, I do. our oh, sins as we forgive our others. Gathers. So he didn't Give say. Us our bread. For, our, our, he didn't talk about the bread. economy. He's not talking about he's economy. Talking about himself. He's though. not talking about himself. He's talking about even the Holy forgive Ghost. our sin just like we forgive. So to forgive others, so you go to God and ask God forgiveness. So there is no mediator. So this is what the teachings of all the prophets. There is no middle person. You go directly to God. And that's the teachings of Islam. Does it make sense to you? In that way you've said it, yes. That is, don't deny that. So then why don't you accept to be Muslim? Because you'd have to look into it. And what? Study it a bit. So, By the way, you could study the whole the whole life, but this information which we give, we summarize it. So you know now for sure there is one God to be worshipped, yes? Yes. You know for sure now Jesus is a prophet sent by God, yes? Yes, but I still also believe that he's God. He's God? <laughs> yes. Well, even he didn't say that. No, he says he's the son of God. And David was son of God. Yes, but if you think... Come on, David was son of God. If you think of a king, yeah? He was yeah. A, that he has a son, which is a prince, yeah. who is going to be king. Yeah. Right. No, but so, but this is for us you, as human beings. You, you, but God doesn't but, die. But, but no, God doesn't but, die but, to but, give his... But, but as a messianic Jew, we, 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 we are spirit, not flesh. We fight against okay, principalities no problem. and powers beyond for you. Others, our sight. We fight Ma against Ma evil. Ma 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 there is one for you. There is one for you. There is one for you. In the Bible, God said to Moses, I send you as Elohim to Pharaoh. And you know in Hebrew Elohim means God. Is Moses God? No, he's a messenger. He's a messenger, yeah? But God, God says to him as him. Elohim. As yes, Elohim. God the speaks same way, him. my 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 good friend, the same way is with Moses, the same way is with Abraham, the same way is with Aaron, the same way is with Joseph, the same way with all of them. But look what we are inviting you to, to be honest with you. I'm not going to say your salvation, <laughs> like, but we, you are, you looked, you, God brought you here today. Yeah. I didn't bring you. I didn't bring myself. God brought us here to meet today and talk about scriptures, talk about him. Yeah. Okay? You know, you will find yourself in Islam. Look, you even dressing, dressed up like with, with everything I'll, I'll, from the... I'll be honest, that's because I couldn't find any Judea. Yeah, but look, Jesus is but look, <laughs> but look, you, you look like as if you are a Muslim from far away. If someone sees you, they will think you are a Muslim. So as God sent you, look, with Islam, you will find inner peace. I already you have find, inner peace. No, but it will even increase. Well, look, we can never have enough of inner peace. Because, you know, the daily life throws right. a lot of things at us. And we have to deal with problems, we have to deal with family, we have to deal with a lot of things. So th this life is a constant test for us. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. You have, look what you have. 
the five prayers that we do. We connect with God every day. Five times a day, we connect with Him. Far away from we devote everybody. ourselves to God. Yeah. Far away from our... We fast a whole month. We fast. We give charity to the poor. Once in a lifetime, you go to the Valley of Bakka, which is mentioned in Psalms 8212. The Valley of Bakka, which is Mecca, once in a lifetime, if you are financially and physically able, you go there. So, and one thing, you're not going to lose Jesus. Actually, you're going to gain the true Jesus, the Jesus which your heart is telling you who he is, because I'm going to let the Sheikh continue, but I'm going to show you that Jesus is a prophet from the Bible, from the Bible, and not, and not open for interpretation. No, 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 no. The word prophet, I'll bring it out for you now. Oh, no, I, I agree with you that it states that he is a prophet. Okay, yeah, then. So, so, so uh, he, also, he also can... states that he is the son of God. Okay. Who says he's the son of God? Comes out his own lips. Okay. No. I can't remember okay. what chapter of well, verse it comes okay. out. Of, but... Okay. In the Old Testament, David was son of God. Yeah, first born. First born. So I say that? David was son of God. Yes, uh, you've said that before. But we are okay. all, we're, we're all of children of God. So that's right? why. So where is why he, when Jesus in, said in that respect, he was the spirit of God. Because he didn't say that. You, you are adding. Holy, he didn't say I'm no, the spirit of God. No, but it's the Holy Spirit that came down and spoke to Mary and said the, that the Holy Spirit is, is, you know, is angel you know, Gabriel. You know, you know, in death, you know, in death, you will lose. You know why? Because in the synoptics, we have got contradiction. In Luke, it says he spoke to Mary. But in Matthew, it says he spoke to Joseph. So who is who? Did he speak to Joseph or did he speak to Mary? To Mary. Honestly, probably a different angel speaking. No, 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 different angel. I promise you, I promise you, it's the same angel. So it's the same angel. angel. So it's not a, the angel. Holy Ghost is an angel. Same that's angel. the Holy Ghost. That's one, in one, one, Archangel Gabriel. One time he's speaking Gebrein. to him. One time so that's the Archangel Gabriel. He is the one who came to Moses, spoke to him. See, I, I see the Holy Ghost as God's essence, not an angel's uh, essence. Ah, well, then, th then so. the, you see, it's not a God essence because the, the Holy Ghost is a separate being from God. He's an archangel, archangel. Even for the Christians, I'm sorry to tell right. you this. No, I've Even for the Christians, that. I've not read that some, so, some people say wisdom, but it, that's for the world. The first, the first book, book I read was Revelation. Okay, I, I, listen, 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 listen. You went to the bottom. Who right? came? Yeah. Who yeah. came to speak right to, to Moses? Right to who came yeah. to speak yeah. to Moses? Yeah. Listen, God will speak to Moses through someone. Yes. But if you remember in the Bible before um, God decimated Sodom and Gomorrah, he actually visited Abraham as a man. Well, well, well look, look, if I With show you angels. from the Bible, I have no problem. If I show you from but the God Bible that man. God is God not is a, not man, a man, man that he can lie. Isaiah, Isaiah uh, God is not a flesh. 14. God is not a man that he can lie. I'll show it to yes. you right now. And God is not a flesh. That's he, also, he, also wrestled, right he also wrestled with, was it Joseph or Jacob? Uh, or Jacob. Uh, uh, no, yes. no, 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 Jacob. Uh, 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 yeah, Jacob. Jacob. And Jacob and Jacob put him to the ground. Do you, believe yeah. that? you think and Jacob God, will put God, God on the ground? God, God, God. Do you believe that God will be wrestled by his own creation and put and loose? Please, you, you just now, look, forget about anything. Forget we talk about Islam, forget about everything. But he believes in humbleness, doesn't he? No. There is no, no humbleness. God cannot is, be defeated the out of humbleness. This is the Almighty. Mujahideen, this is the Almighty. I get the you, I get, I get you, but like, with, with, with Christ himself, didn't he humble himself no, 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 no. to be well, satisfied with the Father? But let's continue if it's written as is. By the way, by the way, I will tell you something. Actually, it is not the will of Jesus. He was saying, take this cup away from me. I, I get so that. that so there is no that, humble meaning. Yeah. Meaning that's not a humble way. That's if he knows that his task. You said he's willingly. He's not willingly. If he's willingly. Why he's why? Look at someone. No, he, God he created he, him. If, when, he, if he wasn't willing, he would. He would, as he, he said, watch his pilots. If if this was happening or something like this, if this was happening, my kingdom, my followers would fight for me. My but, point is again, he yeah. is. He's not. He is requesting. If he was created to do this task. He shouldn't be requested opposite to that. There is one for you. There is one for but you. One Corinthians. No? no. That's what he says himself. I'm, I'm gonna, and I'm going to give you something which is Paul. Paul now speaking, yeah? Yeah. Well, okay. One you know Corinthians. Know on one Corinthians 11.3. <laughs> yeah? But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. 
Okay? And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ, who? Who is the head of Christ? God. Can God have a God? Sorry? Can God have a God? Now this is... This Even is, Jesus to say, I will go to my God. So the Jesus God, he has a God. Yeah. The head is God. But is that taken literally, if you get me, you know, is, or is it metaphorical? You know, you got to understand. Listen, I will tell you something. Because there's a lot if of... There there's something, if there is something, if there is either the art metaphor, I'm, I'm saying to you. The problem is, when this clear statement coming from Jesus, it confuses people. And God wants the guidance for us, yes? Yes, but he also... So he if God also, wants the guidance for us... He also made it deliberately difficult for those... No, 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 it's no, that, no, no, no. Actually, God, is, God loves us. God loves the guidance for us. He will has to make his, you know, uh, his, uh, for example, his word to be clear to the people in order for them to follow the truth. Yes. Other, but, otherwise, we're going to follow the devil. But if you, th if you think about what God did to the Israelites, yeah? Yeah. And he blinded them from the truth that Jesus spoke. Yeah. He blinded, yeah. He blinded the Israelis from trust that Jesus spoke. I understand, and but still, still the problem is... That, you get again, where I'm coming from with that. Yeah? No, my point is, you but know what... In, in the end, he's going to then allow them to repent. You know, right? you know what, you know what, uh, that's yeah. again, repent, yeah. my, my point so, is to you. Then they're going to realize that Christ was the Messiah. No, but look, actually still, still, the, the main concept about God has to be clear. To say the Trinity itself has an issue. The divinity of Jesus has an issue. So if God is clear, God is all-powerful, all-knowing, has independent will, so simple and straightforward. So it cannot seize that, that characteristics. You know, as yes, a messianic, as a messianic Jew, but we're looking at this you know you have to, to go we're by not, the what? teaching of the we're Torah. We're looking at this from our perspective as human beings. No, no, we're, talk, we're talking about you know? God gave us this brain to understand. Oh, yeah, when God communicates to us, communicate to us with, a, with the word that we could understand and comprehend, it cannot be talking to us in something that makes us to be misled, to go astray. He will, he will tell us what he wants from us. Jesus used, when Jesus used, said, for Jesus example... Jesus used, uh, what are they called? I would call them riddles, personally, but... Um, what's the word? Uh, par parables. We're yeah, the, the parables. parables. Yeah. yeah, they're like riddles, aren't they? Still, even with these parables, it has to clarify this. Because when Jesus is... Basically, God is declaring himself to be the divine. Declaring himself to be the one true God. That's all. Oh God is divine. Yeah, but that, that's so. So doesn't need to declare Jesus. Do you understand? So Jesus is sent by God. He was sent. But he also he also said that he would be sitting at the right hand of God. What? He also said that he'd be sitting in heaven. At so the there right will be God sitting on the right hand of God. No, but what? What? When you do something with your right hand? Yeah, well, you said sitting. So that's not right hand. He said Jesus, the Father, has a figure. And Jesus has a figure, so the and Jesus the Son, supposedly. Jesus the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we don't know where it is. So Jesus will be sitting on the right hand side of the Father. So you're talking about two gods now. No, it's one God. If it's one because God, it's, it's one essence. No, it can be one essence sitting beside each other. That's ever, that's ever perspective. I'm, I'm, How, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you that it's two gods. I will show you, yeah, okay. but as an intelligent man, you will you will see what I can show Be you. Be gentle. Now. I have had five strokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John eight seventeen. Okay. John eight seventeen. Okay. It says, "I stand with the Father." Who sent me? Look, how can God send God? So, you no, see, well, I'm let's just... I, my, my argument would be spirits in Jesus. Yeah, but look. Because yeah. if, if, like, if, you, like, if you look at like what um, Jesus said... But God said, is a spirit. Yeah, God is a spirit. Wait a second. When, when Jesus... According to them, by the way. According to them, yeah. When, when Jesus left um, before he went to uh, the garden to get... Was it Gethsemane? On the Mount of Olives. That's so many, the, yeah. the Mount of he said, he said, after the after the Passover, yeah. he said to his disciples, "When I leave, I will not leave you alone, for I will send the Holy Spirit upon oh, you, and no, heaven no. will be upon you." I like this you. one. I like yeah. this one. So, I like this one. I've, I have got. I can answer it for you. It's not a problem. But let's look at John um, come, eight come. seventeen. I stand with the Father who sent me. Yeah. 
in your own law, so he's talking to the Pharisees, in your own law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is true. And this is in the Torah. I am one who testifies for myself, Jesus talking. My other witness is the Father who sent me. Yeah. No. So look in here. I get you. Yeah? I get what you said. So it's two. No, Not please. one. Look. Check here. But last I time, am Ali. one yeah. who testifies yes. for myself. Yes. Okay? Because he's flesh. Check here. Okay. Check here. No, but look. You remember at the beginning, you say to me, and, he's half out. Yeah, but, but don't forget, when Jesus was crucified, he still went down to hell. No, and hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, I want to go. Oh, well, let's understand each other. You yeah. said at the beginning that Jesus is 50 divine, 50 human. Well, that's, well, that's what um, John believed. Yeah, no, John believed 100, 100. No, because he did. He believed that Jesus was only divine once he was John resurrected. I'm giving you John in here. I'm giving you John in here. Yeah, this is and from. And he talks that, about two witnesses. Yeah, this is from that letter that he wrote to the churches about um, Paul. You know, you would not find anywhere in the Bible. No, it's not in the Bible. So yeah, Bible. what it says, and ambiguously, or that clear, clearly, that Jesus, Jesus is, God. is God, and he said, "Worship me." You won't find it. However. You will find that Jesus worshipped the Father, oh, yeah. that Jesus asked the others to worship the Father. As I say to you, we don't have to go far. We just go to the Lord prayer. The Lord prayer, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, that you will, your will be done. On earth. As in heaven, Not my give, will. Us, give us our daily we bread. Of and course, give us our sins. shortcomings as trespasses. we forgive those who Other. trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. So where is, where is the us divinity from, from, us from evil? evil. Yeah. Where is the divinity of Jesus in hell? So Jesus is teaching people because he, how to he is, pray. He is the vine though, because he's the son of God. No, it's not because he's the son of God. Look, let me give you Job in Job. And the sons, the sons attend, attended to oh, the council of the father, and Satan attended with them. Yeah, I get that. Do you know that Satan is the god of the of the world? Yeah. And it is Paul says it. Lord. But look, can God be cursed? Cursed as a curse, not like cursed as in uh, like. I can God be a curse? I, I don't think God could be, but okay. Satan could be. Okay, Satan could be. He's a fallen, what about if I angel. show you that Jesus is a curse? A curse. And who said that? Paul. And also in the Old Testament, since you are a, a Masonic uh, Jew, in the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy says, "He who hang on a pole or a tree on a pole." It's cursed. it's cursed. Now I'm going to show you Paul saying about Jesus like this that he's cursed. I'm going to show now, you. Now before Paul, now here, you see here the one who been hanged or, or crucified on a tree is cursed. Can God be cursed? That's what we say. No, he but said the, no. the body of Christ can't be because he's a human being. But again, and but he is God but, at, but the he's God. Yes. at the same time. This is the point. Divine. Listen, listen. So the, How? The, yeah, but the divine part is a crucified. Listen, the and the, part is listen, free. listen to me. It can't die. God cannot die. No, and I Jesus know, I died. Know. But I had a car accident when I was 15. Watched my whole life flash before my yeah. eyes to watch my spirit look back yes, down at my carcass. Yes, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you were dead. Oh, I was very dead. Okay, because no, otherwise you would not have been to die here. Well, you were you were in that close to death, but you no, didn't die. I was die. dead for 45 minutes. They say 45 <laughs> minutes. By, yeah, the way, by the way, by the way. Still, the soul didn't depart the body. It did. No. no it did. It's, even if the pulse the brain, stops. The brain remembers us. The, the, even, the next thing I know, I wake up 45 minutes later in this body. The memories of a life that I never lived. Okay, my point is, is very still, uh, still that is connected, but the soul is still connected with the body until it will depart. No, that that is for you. That is for you, Galatians, Galatians 3.13. Right. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, okay? By becoming a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. Okay? Could, uh, what, 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 what chapter was this? Sorry, verse 313. What, no, 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 what book? Uh, this is Galatians. Galatians, I've never read Galatians. Okay. Galatians 313, it says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law which is the Torah, 
okay? Meaning no circumcision, meaning no, uh, meaning it's allowed to eat pork, meaning all these things that, they, meaning no Sabbath, even all the things that Jesus used to do, Paul is saying not to do. Okay? Yeah, but well, I and don't then, agree with Paul. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, Paul in here goes to say, uh, of the law by becoming a curse. This is what I'm saying to uh, But he, the issue is, that's why he doesn't accept Paul. My point is, you, that to means, see the truth. my, my, oh, you my are friend, seeing the truth now. You the are, truth is, the truth you is, are seeing the truth Jesus, now. by the way, there is a, 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 a Ignatius of Antioch. Yeah. Yeah. But Ignatius. What year would that be? Huh? What year? Uh, this is in the 200s. Uh, no, no, 100. No, 100 and so, this is 100. So in the first 100 years. So when it was no, not, uh, yeah, it was, uh, of Antioch. Was it, it was Antioch. No, Galatius Ga 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 of Antioch. That's it. Uh, it's not Ignatius. Galatius. A year 100 something. 100. In the beginning, in the in the in the hundred years. So, I, I was Arrhenius, from one second. So the first century. First century. Christ. During that time, he was crucified of Antioch. Yeah, but yeah all I think his name is yeah. From John. Yeah, listen to this. Yeah, he during his time he was condemning certain people who did not believe, or not even is criticizing certain Christians who did not believe the crucifixion of Jesus. He said, basically, some people. Believed during that time that there is no that Jesus wasn't crucified. Wait, what you God mean? saved him. No Christian early early Christian church father. He's talking about them. Yeah, but even that's though what, that's what Muslims believe. That's what no before Muslims. I'm talking about hundred years after no, I, Jesus. I get, I get meaning that. this is four five hundred years before before Islam. People Christian faithful people believed that Jesus wasn't crucified because Jesus not. The, but, but because Jesus wasn't the Anglo Christian and Nazarene. The, 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 the uh, you guys have studied this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we have we have a Christian who testified Jesus wasn't crucified, and actually he himself when, when he prays to God, God saved him. When he prays in the garden the night before, God saved him. Because if Jesus is a devoted someone devoted to God. And he prays to God, asking God, take this cup away from me. God saved him. That's what we accept from God. When you pray to God, God will respond to your supplication. Am I right? How come if someone who's a, someone who's a, a, a pious like Jesus, peace be upon him, asking God, begging God to take this cup away from him, do you think God will reject that? Well, that was why he was born, wasn't it? To take so, the sin of man. That's my point. So how he was born and asking something against what he was born for. Would you, would you, like for well, example, G people Christian believes that Jesus is was sent to be crucified. If he was born for this, why he is asking God to take this cup away from him? Scared, That's my point. How if he was cre created for this? Because he's a human, and he's got feelings, he's got emotions. Still, still, that's just, uh, by the way. Eloi, 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 lima shabaktani. My God, my God, why did you forsake me? He's calling to his God. Can a God call to God and ask him, why did you forget about me? No. Spirit, I can't get for spirit, spirit of God's on Jesus. That's what I'm saying. No. Yeah. This is your interpretation. Come on. Why you you don't bring your own no, word in? That's not you know, there is nothing have, like this. You, you try you try you try no, to all the time. No, because this what was this wasn't it the Holy Spirit that came and spoke to Mary? Which Holy no, no, Spirit? No, no, this is this is Christ. This is on, Jesus on the cross. I, 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 get, cross. I, get, I get that, but what said is wasn't it the Holy Spirit that came and spoke to Mary? No, no, it was it was it was Jesus saying Eloi, Eloi. No, I, I know that, that but it is both before his conception. It was well, the well, as I say to you, as I say to you, as I say to you, depending depending on which who you read, do you believe Luke? Or do you believe, uh, or do you believe, uh, Mark, uh, Mar uh, not Mark, uh, Matthew, which one you believe, this one or this one, because one of them say Joseph, the other one uh, say, no, that's uh, the lineage of, the lineage of Joseph's family and the lineage of Mary's look, family. Look, 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 look so let, let me tell you one we're thing, be let me tell you one thing, let me tell you one thing, why is Jesus in the gene genealogy, why are they putting him to Joseph? Why couldn't they just say to us the Son of God directly? I don't know. You see what I mean? I, I, I get it's it's a big question. Because, because, because basically this is what happened to the Christian. Sorry, in the early, because they have to, 
mentioned that they were defending Jesus to say he is not, you know, he's uh, he is ba- uh, no, defending oh, the owner of Jesus. And she's not, you know, that he's not bastard, etc. to say, yes, actually, he is, uh, he has a lineage, etc. But again, that's another problem. My friend, see, why not, don't you just accept? Respect, why don't you just accept Islam? Believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet by God. He does. I live, I live, I live, leave all these hocus pocus things to say, oh, Jesus, he was, you know, uh, he was uh, God, he was son of God. There is nothing like the son of God means servant of God, means someone who came to serve God. That's the meaning of servant of God. That's the meaning of son of God. It's not son, a begotten son. Servant of God, sent by God to do the work of God, to right. do what Those God is telling you. There is one, there is, there is, there is oh. one for you. David was the first the, begotten David, son. No, 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 David, no. Jacob, Jacob was the first uh, born. What? Jesus, and, and the Bible states Jesus is the first begotten son. No, begotten, not first. Begotten, not first. First, first son was David. Uh, it's, it says, it says the first born, you are my first born, was, David, was Jacob. Was Jacob. Uh, the, the other, my early, my early begotten son that you're referring to. But look, look, in you as a messianic Jew, yeah, you, you have to believe that God is not a, a triune God. No, it's I think not, he's one being. Can, it can, one being, one being, look, one being, so, so who the, died? So who died? The flesh. Well, I didn't ask you what died. Look, I don't proper believe, English. I, I don't no, no, believe proper that English. he did die though. No, 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 proper English. Look, proper English. Yeah. I did ask you who died, not what died. What you answered me, you answered me with what, what died. died. No. Yes, but who I don't died? I don't believe anyone died. Uh, you are you are more Muslim than some than, than right. the Qadianis. Listen. Because the, the body is just a husk. Listen, listen. So he died, he believes that he didn't die. No. So if he didn't die, because why, why, by the, sto- the story of this, I will husk. say to you. The, fle- the flesh is just a husk. Listen, listen. Yeah, because we are spirit. My Jesus friend, my friend. Die. Even the Lord said that my friend, we are my friend. spirit. My friend, my friend. Well, no fear will my friend, my friend. Need. Listen, yeah, listen, my friend. Have does, the spirit, does the spirit eat honeycombs and, and fish? Sorry? Does the spirit eat honeycombs and fish? No, the body does. So. Okay. Did Jesus Did eat honeycomb and fish or not? Yes, because he needed to fuel his body. After the resurrection? No, after the resurrection? Maybe not after the resurrection. Honestly, after the resurrection? After the resurrection, he eat eating honeycomb and, and fish. So, which means where, where he didn't need food? After the resurrection, I promise you. Listen no, to no, me. No, that's, that's like going to a party with your friends and then not partaking in the enjoyment. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you understand? No, no. Listen still, because honey, I will tell you something. No, After, one second, one second. Because when Jesus died, one second, one second, one second. Which no. one? No, yes. no, actually, actually, according, because if he died, if the body died on the cross, then after that, who was eating the honey, the honeycomb, and, and the fish? Jesus and his body. Because no, but the forget, body did. Was, okay, the body did died. Say, what did he say yeah. to Mary? What did he say to Mary? Touch me not. Touch because me I not, not. For I have it. not ascended it, to my father it. yet. Yeah. So how can? Why is he asking her to touch? Because of it being a spirit. If he was a body. He would have let her touch him. But that's the thing you just said. He was sitting eating after the resurrection. Yeah. So he was a body. <laughs> you see all this. Listen yeah, to me. I will tell you something. Show you is the contradiction in the Bible. My my, my friend. Uh, my my friend. Why don't you listen? Listen. Why don't you? It's so simple and straightforward. All this story about the crucifixion, etc. Since we have a biblical scholar, actually. They didn't believe this from the early stage of, of, as, of Christian. There's a lot of biblical scholars that don't believe that. But no, they, they, a lot of scholars and that as well, know. and they were yeah. they were recognized as scholars of, of Bible, recognized as scholars, as believers, as devoted Christian. So why we go why we go to this to the things that we we doubt about it? Why don't we stick with the things that we affirm about it? We affirm that Jesus is the prophet. With him, he's a man. But I have with also already, also said, already said that I have only been studying for the last yeah, year and three quarters. So I still need to read, finish reading the Bible. Okay. I still need to finish reading the Torah. Have you read the Quran? No, I've got one of my bags. You, so. have, you have a Quran? Which one? Show me which one. The one he's, the one he's got. The blue one. The blue one. The blue one? There's this one, by the way. Quran. No, not that one. 
if it can find it. This one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. This has, uh, I think, that is, has this different translation. Right. If you wanted to have it as well, you could have it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So which would, which would you say is clearer? I think this is this is good. This is clear. This is clear, and it has some. Uh, you know, it, it is divided into details. The commentary is good here, so you could use both. You know, but but for us, but for us as Muslims, we have to learn Arabic in order to go back to the original text. See, this is what you don't have it. Well, that's by the way, that's why I'm trying to learn. Do you know, Jesus? By the way, there is no, there is no Arab. There is no single Aramaic Bible. Uh, the New, New, New Testament called Peshita in Syriac. Where, where, where it listen, says listen, Allah. By the way, the Syriac one, yeah. it is translated from, from, from Greek. Greek yeah. Which means yeah. the original one is not there. No. no, no I, I, agree with, I agree. I yeah. agree. So the it's Arabic not there. If you, think of, if you think of the catacombs under the Vatican, what are they hiding? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, no, so truth, what was when Jesus was so, calling God? What did he say? Twisted, Listen, when Jesus was, what was the word of God in Jesus' term? What was the term of God? The name of God. The name of God to according to Jesus. Time. How did Jesus say God? My father. No, no, no. Father was was interpolated in the in the year from the year between the year 180 and 210. He used to be known as Almighty, but this is what the Sheikh wants to you to. You know, in Aramaic, the name of Allah is Allah. Allahu. I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going to show it to you now. Like, for example, here, when you Google, here. Yeah, the, the word of God in Aramaic. Ilah, yeah, this is in that. And right. as, and this in Judaism. In Hebrew, yeah, in Hebrew, yeah, Hebrew. and as, well, it is Allah. The God Almighty in Hebrew is uh, El Shaddai. Ah, yeah, yeah. Allah. This is John 17, 3. Yeah, but this is. Okay. When you finish there, I'll show you. Allah. In Syrianic. John, John 17, 3, yeah? But this is eternal, but this is the life which is eternal, that they know thee who are the true Allah. This is in, uh, in uh, and him whom thou hast sent, Yeshu Meshecha. Yeshua, the Messiah, yeah, the, the Messiah. Messiah. We believe Jesus is the Messiah, by the way. Right. Okay. Does I think Islam make more sense to you than Christianity? And I believe you belong to Islam more than Christianity. Because according to you, according to you, you don't belong to Christianity. Do you know that? Well, as I say, I'm looking at you. I, I try and live my life for God. It's as simple as that. So, firstly, I, 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 I will tell you something. I will tell you something. What's your, uh, I, well, I keep forgetting your name is a bit difficult. Mahoja Il. Mahoja Il. Mahoja Il. Mahoja Il. You remember Cain and Abel, yeah? Yeah. You remember Cain and Abel? I asked, I asked Allah. I asked Allah, Mahoja Il. I asked Allah to guide him to the right path, the path that pleases him. Right. The path that makes you to follow his guidance. Say Amin. Sorry? Say Amin. Say Amin. You know what means of this? I, we are we are making something invoking God to show you the right path and to make you to follow that right path. You accept? Uh -huh. I need to study. We're not saying by the, the right path. We didn't say which path. No, I, just, I said. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the right path. Yes, obviously. So that's what we say. Like may Allah guide you to the right path. There may Allah show you the right path. There is one thing. I make it to follow. There is one thing for you. What's happening? Where? You can. You know, you know, to be a Muslim, all it is. 
Okay. 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 Submit huh? to the, to God, Pass me that. and I believe in, in right. Muhammad. So look, well, uh, don't go for I, I, I speak. Life. I need to speak to you. Let me finish now. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. eternal life. If tomorrow, if tomorrow you were, no, okay, okay. Just, uh, no. if tomorrow you no, were, no. if tomorrow, let's say we are in judgment day. day. And Allah said, Mujahideen, my message came to you, but you refused it and you stuck with something else. Okay? Gone, baby, gone, then. <laughs> however, however, there is a solution for all of this. And I'll tell you the solution. Take your Shahada. It's like, you know what it is like? It's like you have. A reserve. You know when you drive in the car and you have some petrol in reserve? Yeah, yeah. So if you run out, at least you are not left. Yeah. Take your shahada. All you have to say is I bear witness that there that there is no good worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. Right. With this you have <coughs> with this you can you can say, Oh Allah Yes, the message came to me and I took the shahada, but I continue what, to what, look. What, did, what shahada mean in Arabic? Uh, testimony. 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 It means that. So I, wallahi, this is from my heart. Well, and, 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 and Hebrew, El Shada means. Yeah, the way. God. Yeah, yeah, Shada, yeah. Look, so what we're asking for, of you, take your shahada today, put it under your belt. It's like having a uh, it's like having a degree. It's under your belt, and you have the Quran. Continue reading and that. Are you ready? Say after me. Ashhadu. An al la ilaha illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Muhammadan, Muhammadan. Rasulullah. 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 I bear witness. I bear witness. There is no God. There is no God. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. Except Allah. I would, I would have to say Elohim. Except Elohim. Yeah, except Elohim. And Aunt. and Aunt. Muhammad, Muhammad is his messenger. Right. Okay. Is his messenger. Muhammad is his messenger. We and, now know. And, and, now to study that. Yeah, but look. Now you are a Muslim. Uh, let me just explain to you. Right. Now by professing, by professing what you have professed, you are a Muslim. Right. Okay. However, go on your journey. Go on your journey. And uh, study about Islam, and we will be there to teach you. And I will tell you something, my brother, because uh, it has to. Uh, it has to be. For prayers, the map. Yeah, in that. My point is to you. Yeah? Yes, Sheikh. My point is to you. Yeah? No, no, no. Yeah? My point is to you. What he said to you now is basically a testimony of Islam, meaning to identify yourself as a Muslim. Right. Yeah? And as a mission to. What if I choose not to? Now, here, if you choose not to, that's. Allah says in the Quran, there is no compulsion on the faith. No compulsion in yeah. the religion. So there is no, we cannot force you to be Muslim. It's a choice that you choose. Right. Yeah. Okay. But in the same time, in the same time, yeah, here you have to understand that as well. We, us and you, we believe in one concept, which is believing in one God. And as well, we believe in Jesus to be a prophet. So some, even the Jews, they say this is... This well, is, Aslan, is like, Aslan studying the Torah as well, because I'm, I'm, I want the proper answer. So the answer, the answer, the answer, my friend, the answer is in Islam. And then if I find that myself, then I'll, I'll be back to say okay. hello, brother. We ask Allah <laughs> to guide you first of all. May Allah uh, guide yeah, you. and may Allah make Allah it easy for you. Yeah. You don't anyway, mind if I smoke, do you? We, we wanted to, uh, we, will, we will conclude this before yeah, you smoke. Yeah. Okay. Because there are some children. 
They may see this. We don't want them to. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. We say it's not good to do to smoke. It's not good for your health. Try and stop. So. You should. <laughs> yeah, and as well before no, that, actually, before that, focus on the oneness of God. Focus that there is one God. Focus well, that I, Jesus was sent by God. Well, That's live, what you are. I, I live by his, the, the laws, the statutes, tenets, and commands. Yes. And praise to the Lord. So, yeah. You know, I don't think that like works because you're you're doing that to better yourself. As 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 the Lord Jesus said, "Be perfect like our heavenly Father is perfect." So, and I think if, if we're only given grace through, I think we should faith, good here, yeah. I think, um, and, So yeah. I think to become perfect like heavenly but, Father but is by living by the laws of the Lord. Can I ask you a question? You know what the chef has been saying? Yeah, yeah. Did it make proper sense to you? A lot of it did, can't deny that. It's a yeah. known, the Russian brother. But there's still yeah. a little bit stuff. Let's see that what is he, I want to I've got yeah. to but, but, He's but, here. To be honest with you, God is just, never just see, look, look for him there. He was there. Like this is in Isaiah. You know, I would not worship a God if he was a man. Because who is he to be better than me? You see, we, by nature, but well, as, as man, he wouldn't have been better. Yeah, but why why this man waited until 4,000 years later then appear? Why could he appear at the beginning and then we would all Look have been saved? Right? No one would have believed it. Does, does Look for him no, there, there. Does, does that mean but that the, one, the ones prior to him, the one that will have the original sin, does that, believe, does that mean that they are not saved? Look for him there. I'd have to read into that, to be honest with you. Okay. What's, what's, what's that story in the Bible where um, the rich, is it, is the rich man ends up in the hell and uh, Lazarus ends up in like the other place and he asks, the, the rich man asks Lazarus to dip his finger in the water and drip it on his tongue. I don't know the story. So right, so, okay. Yeah, I, I've not read it myself. I've only heard it. So. I don't know. You want to put your chair? What do you say here to you, my brother? First of all, may Allah guide you and make it easy for you. I believe that, inshallah, when you are ready one day, you will be taking the shahada. Because uh, yani, you have to understand, you have to basically to divorce, the, divorce, divorce the, deity the, the deity of anyone except the one God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You have to abstain from that. We have to accept as Muslims the, the divinity of one true God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. The God that was worshipped by Jesus. The God that worshipped by, by Moses, the God that worshipped by, by Abraham, by Muhammad, by all prophets and messengers, we are worshipping that God. So until you are on that page, wait for me, I need to talk here. Until we are on that page, does that make sense, this one, this concept? The creator of the heavens and the earth, not Jesus, not no one, just just to worship the spirit. I see what you're saying, right? But don't forget, I was brought up as a Christian. I understand. By the way, if the followers of Jesus, they thought like your way, they will never be Christian nowadays. That's why they have to abstain from the, their forefathers' faith and they have to follow the truth. That's what we are well, saying. That's why I've went back to the roots, because I'm more interested in the truth of it rather than the, the So it, does it make sense that God Jesus was, was a prophet, he wasn't God? Well, I agree with what he was a prophet, but I also agree that he was divine because you know, he this is the church off. talking now. No, I get that. You know, I get that. The church but, talking. So that's, but what I'm saying is, I was brought up that way as a yeah, young child. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, that's what so I'm saying will you the accept church the church, or you want to accept what God said? God is not a flesh, God is not a man, God is <laughs> worship this one God. Jesus said, I will go to my father, you father, my God, you God. All these things, it tells you that this is not God. But that's why I'm reading the Torah, because I want to look back at the Old Testament to see the differences. Yeah, ah, you said the Torah. You know, you know, you know Deuteronomy 6, 4. No, I'm Here not you, that Shama that. Israel. I only started reading Shama the Israel, Adonai, 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 Achad. Our Lord Father is one. And by the way, this five. The Lord, our God, the Lord is one. The Lord, so our God, the Lord is one. Do you speak Hebrew as well? Yeah? I, I understand the bit of Hebrew. I'm studying Hebrew. And, as adding, and, and adding to this, by the way, by the way, we have a chapter in the Quran says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, Allah is ahad. Ahad is a unique word. Ahad. Ahad or ahad is a unique word. It's not number. It doesn't mean one. It means one, one and only, one and absolute. 
it, it doesn't mean there is a second and third. No, I means get, the okay, one. Okay, compact, okay. not compact. I get so because we have wahid means one, we have ahad means one and unique. No second, no third. The absolute. That is God what we are talking about. Does it make sense? In that respect, yes. So does Islam make sense to you? I'd have to study it. <laughs> okay. So we'll leave you to study it. You have the you have the Quran. And as well, if you want, you can share your, if you want to share your contact with us. If you have some questions, you could come to us. Do you want to have my contact to ask us questions? Yeah, or yeah, I, I, Take my number. Have you got a pen? Yeah. I've got a pen. Get, get your Quran, one of the Qurans, and I will write it for you. I will write it for you, yeah? Just write it on the inside, yeah. I will write it here in the back here. This is my number, yeah? Is this your email or your phone? phone. What? Is this your email or your phone? Phone. Congratulate you. Welcome, brother. No, he's not here. Uh, we're just teaching him the shahada. I'm just teaching him. Just teaching him. We met in the morning. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm still studying. Yeah. I generally use this number, that's my number. Yeah. Yeah. You could contact me on this number, yeah? Okay? And what's your name again? Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. Well, that's Muhammad. easy to remember. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions for us? No. Do you have any number that we can contact you? Or? Well, I'll give you a phone. Yeah. Okay. Give me a ring. All right. Just a phone. Okay, my friend. All right. All right, uh, it was, we are glad talking to you. We're happy having this conversation with you. And you know, when you go home tonight, I want you to do something for me. Take a shower. Say, oh God, I know you're there. Oh, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Guide me to the right path. That's all. Just, yeah. Guide me to the right path. Yeah. Okay, we'll give it to God somewhere. Yeah, we can. So just say, guide me to the right path. This is the first chapter of the Quran. You see here, if you read the Quran, the first chapter, the very first chapter, it's talking about the guidance here. Look at it. Look at this here. Is this in Arabic as well as English? No, it's English. It's, here, yeah. it's the opening. Yeah? Here. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. All praise is for God, the Lord of the world, the most compassionate, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. Guide us along to the straight path, the path of those you blessed, not the path of those who displaced with those who were went astray. The, those you are displeased with or those who are so, so you want God to guide you to the right path. Yeah. That's what you want. So my, my, my only question is, why so much Because they reject Jesus, peace be upon him. Because they reject Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they wanted to follow their own and they prioritize their ways over than the guidance of God. Does that make sense? Plus, 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 plus. plus the other smile and arrogance about the smile things. Yeah? Okay? So, do this. Just ask God to guide you. And the guidance in Islam, three things. Allah showing you the path, and Allah leading you to that path, and Allah keep you steadfast upon this path. So that's why we say this, this chapter at least 17 times a day. We want, Allah, we want Allah to show us the path. We want Allah to lead us to this path. We want Allah to keep us steadfast upon this path. Just like if you want to go to the station, we'll say to you, there is the station, showing you the path. Or I will take your hand to the station, this is leading you. And if you want to go lift it and say, keep on this, this is the path. So we want Allah to guide us, showing us the path, leading us to the path, keeping us steadfast on this path. All right, my friend? All right. It was nice talking to you. May Allah guide you and guide us all to the right path. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair, my brothers. May Allah adal. Increase us all in our journey. Man, we'll, we'll, we'll have a beautiful conversation with our brother, with our brother here. You know.